guys. In this video, you'll learn how to create a Ben TK plant transition. Ben TK is a content creator from Australia. He is notable for creating cinematic travel videos with incredible and unique transitions. One of those is a plant transition which he created in his Vietnam travel video. So first, with the flower footage selected, press S on the keyboard to show the scale setting. Scale it up until it hides the part of the flower which has green color. Trim the work area into about 2 seconds. Duplicate the clip by going to edit, then click duplicate, let's hide our main layer. Then double click on duplicate layer, and this will open a layer window beside the composition window. Drag the layer window to the right side so that we can also see the composition window on the left. Once you are on the layer window, click the Roto Brush tool on the top left corner of After Effects. You can also change the size of the brush just by holding Ctrl or Command on the Mac plus the left mouse key. Go to the first frame of the layer window, and start painting a mask around the subject that you want to isolate. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can also use the Alt key button or option on the Mac while painting a mask, if you want to correct or remove a mask on the area. As you can see, we have a real-time preview of our roto brush on the composition window on the left as we paint on the subject. Once you're done painting a mask, go to Roto Brush Effect Panel, and change the feather value into about 20. This will smoothen the edge of our mask. Next, go to the first frame of the layer and press space bar on the keyboard. The clip will then play and the Roto Brush will auto-detect the outline of the subject. As you can see, we have now isolated the first petal of the flower. In this process, our objective is to isolate all the petals. To do that, duplicate again the layer where we applied the Roto Brush. Delete the Roto Brush effect. Double click on the newly created duplicate layer. I'm gonna solo this previous layer, so that we can have an idea where to apply our Roto Brush on the next layer. I'm gonna reveal also the newly created duplicate layer. Then go to the first frame of the layer window, and start painting a mask around the subject that you want to isolate. Next, go to Roto Brush Effect Panel, and change the feather value into about 20. Next, go to the first frame of the layer and press space bar on the keyboard. The clip will then play and the Roto Brush will auto-detect the outline of the subject. As you can see, we have now isolated the second petal of the flower. Simply repeat this process, until we have isolated all the petals of the flower. And now, after we have already masked out the petals of the flower, it's animation time. Look for the petal that you want to animate first. For me, I'll go for this one. Select the first petal that you want to animate, then reveal the position, scale and rotation setting by clicking P, Alt S and Alt R on the keyboard, create a position, Scale and Rotation keyframe, move 3 frames forward, then drag the petal on the top left corner of the frame. Next, look for the next petal that you want to animate. Select the second petal, then reveal the position, scale and rotation setting by clicking P, Alt S and Alt R on the keyboard, create a position, Scale and rotation keyframe in line with the second keyframe of the first pedal. Move three frames forward, then drag the pedal on the bottom right corner of the frame. Next, hide our main layer, and simply repeat the process for all the pedals. 
you can adjust the position of the keyframes for the animation speed and sequence, also you can play with the position, scale and rotation setting for the animation of the pedals, After applying the first animation for all the pedals, next, copy the second keyframes of the first pedal, move the time cursor by a second, and paste the keyframes, move 3 frames forward, then drag the pedal until it leaves out of the frame. Go to Position, Separate Dimension, click Graph Editor, click the X position, select the first keyframe, click Easy Ease Out, second keyframe, Easy Ease In, 3rd Keyframe, Easy Ease Out, 4th Keyframe, Easy Ease In. For the Y Position, apply Easy Ease like what we did in the X Position. Next, select the Scale and Rotation Keyframe and apply Easy Ease by clicking F9. Next, simply repeat the process that we did on the first pedal on other pedals except on the main layer. Next, reveal our main layer. Go to Effects and Preset Panel and apply Gradient White. For the transition softness, make it 10. Next, Create a transition completion keyframe at the start of the animation of the first pedal. Then move a few frames forward, then change the value of transition completion into 100. You can check the invert gradient to modify the look of the effect. You can also adjust the position of the gradient wipe keyframe for the timing and speed of the effect. Select all the layers by pressing Ctrl A. On the keyboard, press U to hide the keyframes. Right-click on the timeline, then add new adjustment layer. Go to Effects and Preset Panel, apply Force Motion Blur. Then change the value of shutter angle into 940. Next, we can now drag our second clip into the timeline. Precompose all the layers except the adjustment layer and the second clip. Select the precomposed layer. Go to Effects and Preset Panel and apply Lumetri Color. Adjust the exposure and overall color of the flower to blend it with the exposure and overall color of the second clip.
Lastly, activate our force motion blur. And boom. There you have it, Ben TK plant transition. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. Please subscribe if you like this video or thumbs up. See you on the next video.